Hey y'all, this is JW. It's Tommy. And we're checking snares and footholds again today and we're happy to have you go along with us. Enjoy. <laughs> Almost heaven, West Virginia, Blue Ridge Mountain, Shenandoah River. Life is old there, older than the trees, younger than the mountains, blowing in the breeze. Country roads take me home to the place I belong, West Virginia. Dark and dusty, painted on the sky Misty taste of moonlight brings tears off to my eyes Country roads take me home to the plains I belong West Virginia Mountain Mama take me home Country roads Should have been home yesterday. Yesterday, country roads take me home to the place I belong. West Virginia, Mountain Mama, take me home. Country roads take me home. I want to get a shot of his foot here. Just stay right there. You want me to uh -uh. move something on the trap? Nope. No blood. Nope. Caught by the pad These of the These traps foot. are used, uh, they hold by leverage, not by force. That's right. Okay, what is that, a female? This is a... Little female? Yep. All right, little female. We're going to go ahead and take care of this one. And uh, 
I'll go ahead and video him remaking this set that uh, went from uh, uh, a neat set to a, a big mess set. All right. All right, so <clears throat> we had a catch today, and uh, now we got a big mess set here. I'm going to clean it up, and uh, now that we've caught a red fox in it, she's got her circle in here. This, this set's going to be hot. This is going to be the set that's probably going to catch the, the most out of this area. I got a set over there, but now that we got all this scent here on this one, they'll probably come over to this one first and check it out. Unless we get two of them in here. And I'm gonna I'm gonna save some of this because that'd be good back. That's good. good for that. Get all this corn off here. Grab my sifter. <clears throat> That is weird. Look at that. That's a looks like a two two three bull is just in my hole. Hmm. That's pretty cool. Put it in my pocket. Ball your hand. Notice how he doesn't put his knees on the ground or or what anything like that. Scent distribution. The lack of it. <laughs> And this is for blending. This is blending, just putting a little bit over the top here. Making everything look the same color. Now what I do on a rem remake like this, and I'm sure you're going to too, take a little bit of this uh, shredded corn and just put over my, my pattern back there like it uh, blends in. Pebble. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. That's how I reset a foothold. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. Makes it look like it. Yeah. Good set. Great set now. Caught one in it. Yeah. Nice looking female too. Alright. Alright. Get out of here. On to the next set. Here we come.
that be got himself a fox here. Now, what I did, I put it a little close to this pine tree here, and uh, that's why he got tangled up on it. So he must have just got in there within the last hour or so. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, take him out of the snare and, and reset it back. So this is fox number two for the day. Hey folks, this is JW with Stevens Family Outdoors. We hope you're enjoying today's uh, episode of the Old Man Trapping video series. You see a couple red foxes here. Uh, that prompted a question by one of our viewers about when, uh, about when the red foxes begin to rub and when do we stop targeting them as, as uh, a species. Well, this is January 31st, and we have legally got until the end of February to trap red foxes, but we definitely do not do it that long because of the rubbing. Uh, what, what I tend to do is whenever we catch a couple foxes that are showing signs of rubbing, that's when we uh, stop targeting the red fox and um, pull all of our footholds. Uh, basically all of them. Uh, the ones that we don't pull, uh, if we do catch a fox in it that's rubbed somewhat, we go ahead and, and release it um, so that, you know, it can be available for the next season. Uh, as far as the snares go, what we do there is we raise the snares up to the point to where uh, foxes basically will go underneath the snare, say up to about 10 inches from the bottom of the snare to the ground or even 12 inches if necessary. Uh, putting um, uh, obstacles in the way that the coyote has to raise his neck as it's going through the snare. So that's what we try to do and of course you understand that nothing is 100% but uh, we just can do what we can do, and then the rest is uh, left to fate. So. so we hope you enjoyed today's video um, on the snare and on the trap line. And uh, we hope you subscribe to our YouTube channel, Stevens Family Outdoors, and hit that notification bell and that like button. And also feel free to share if you wish. Have a good day, and God bless. from Stevens Family Outdoors and today we hope you're enjoying the old man trapping Hey folks, this is JW from Stevens Family Outdoors and we hope you're enjoying the old man trapping video series here today uh, on the trap line. You see here we've got a couple of foxes today and I've actually uh, got a couple questions concerning foxes running. I'm going to have to start this all over again. 